Do you know that different market participants in the futures market have different trading objectives? Hi, I'm Sivaisa. In this video, I'm going to share with you one of the significant market participants in the futures market, and they are called hedges. You are going to discover who the hedges are, what do they do in the futures market, and what are their roles. Click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any informative and educational trading videos we are producing for you to help you improve your game as a trader. So let's get started. Generally, there are two main categories of participants in the futures market. They are hedges and speculators. Hedges plays a significant role in the futures market and their primary objective in the market is different from those of uh, speculators. Hage's primary objective in the futures market is to avoid risk, to protect themselves against price fluctuations. Whereas for speculators like arbitrages, uh, institutional traders like large traders, or even uh, retail traders, their purpose is to take risk in the market to make profit and take advantage from the movement and changes in price. So, what is a hedger? Hedgers are primary participants in the futures market. Well, a hedger can be any individual or a firm that buys or sells the actual physical commodities, right? And many hedgers are producers, wholesalers, retailers, or even manufacturers. And they are affected by changes in the commodity prices, uh, exchange rates, and even interest rates. So in Busan Derivative Malaysia, uh, we have one popular agriculture commodity futures product that is uh, widely traded, and that is the crude palm oil futures, so-called the FCPO. So in Malaysia, uh, those hedges who are actually in the palm oil businesses they can take advantage of using this futures product to hedge their risk using the crude palm oil futures. Now, you must be wondering why the commercial participants want to use futures to hedge their risk. One of the major reasons is that the changes in the crude palm oil price can impact the firm's bottom line, which is their profit and loss when they bring goods to the market. So, Depending on whether the palm oil business is producing and selling crude palm oil or whether the business is actually consuming and buying the crude palm oil, the fluctuation in the crude palm oil price definitely impacts their immediate bottom line. To minimize the effects of changes in price, hedges will utilize the futures contracts. Unlike speculators who assume market risk for profits, uh, hedges generally use futures market to manage and offset their risk so that they can have a price certainty in their products by locking in profit at a specific price in order to protect their bottom line. Now, let's look at an example of a crude palm oil CPO producer. So let's say the producer is concerning about the price of his CPO production when he sells the CPO three months later. If the price drops uh, at the production, the producer will have to sell the CPO at a lower price. So one way the producer could hedge his exposure would be to sell a CPO futures contract. So when the production comes around, and the price of CPO drops, he will see a loss in the price when he sells his CPO in the local physical cash market. However, that loss would be offset by a trading gain in the futures market because he shot in the futures market. On the other hand, if the CPO price rallied and goes up during production three months later, the producer would have a trading loss in the futures market because he short the market. However, his CPO production would be sold at a higher price in the local physical cash market. So you can see that uh, the purpose of hedging is actually to lock in the 
CPO price at a specific level. And Hage's primary concern is to have a price certainty and protect their bottom line. There are several types of hedges in the crude palm oil commodities market. There are buy side hedges and they are concerning about rising commodity prices where they need to buy the CPO from the market. So rising price means a higher cost to them. So they need to hedge against rising price. So most of the time the buy side hedges would be the palm oil refinery companies. And on the other hand, there are the sell side hedges. They are concerning about the falling commodity price. So when they need to sell crude palm oil in the market, lower price means lower sales to them. So they need to hedge against the falling price of CPO. So the sell side hedges would be those crude palm oil uh, millers and producers. So now that you have a brief understanding how the palm oil uh, industry manage their risk using the futures crude palm oil, many industries nowadays also use the risk management potential of the futures contract for a variety of assets in order to protect their bottom line. So for example, uh, the profitability of a construction company you know, partially depends on the cost of uh, building materials, right? And the company can hedge by, let's say, uh, purchasing a steel futures contract. So the company is able to secure a price at which uh, it acquires uh, steel for its construction work. On the other hand, those who produce steels, like those steel mills, they are worried about a decline in the building demand and the drop in the steel price they can sell steel futures to protect against that uh, downward price movement. Besides that, airlines company also um, hedge against rising fuel costs through the use of uh, crude oil futures. And jewelry manufacturers can hedge against the increase of a uh, gold and silver price movement by utilizing precious metal uh, futures contracts. So when it comes to hedging, there are a variety of market participants, especially the hedges, who buy and sell uh, physical commodities and they may benefit from the added price protection offered by the futures contract. So now that you can see and understand why many industries and businesses actually use futures contracts to hedge against commodity price risk and protect their bottom line. So hopefully you have a brief understanding what are the rules of hedges in the futures market. If you find this video informative and useful to you, please share this video and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Until next time, this is CY Saw, wishing you good luck and good trading.